Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I just thought I'd show you this that I picked up. It has got other bits to it that there. I've just stripped it and cleaned it and sanded it and what have you. But with it being painted already inside, I thought I'd take the drawers at it, the doors off to to repaint it. It was a um, baby changing unit. I've had a couple of these and all I do is take all the top off and then underneath you can get to the side bits. So we took the side bits off. We were debating about taking the back bit off but it was three against one so hence it's still there. So I've got a new mould that's come. Not been sponsored or anything i bought it myself so i will be putting some of that on short well later but i just thought i'd show you it's got quite nice i quite like the detailing on this one quite pretty like i say and there are the doors that's the drawer i've already popped a bit of paper in there because it just needed it had got makeup or something all in the bottom so I just did that. Alright, so when I'm ready to paint, which is in a minute, I'll get you all set up and come back. Okay, see you shortly. Right then, I've given it all a couple of coats and we are back to do the mould. And I've bought a new mould, uh, which is this one, and it's called Wilderness rose and it's by creamer bought this myself it's not been gifted to me and i really liked actually how they've done that on the uh on their packaging so i thought i might just do a bit there and a bit on there and then do a couple of bits on the um the drawer front so Really nice though, quite a nice big large one there. Two smaller ones and a couple of leaves. So I'm quite happy with that. Sorry if you can hear the noise in the background, they're messing with cars. Oh, so if I can see a blade. And all I'm using is the air dry clay by DAS as usual. And I've got my talc in my little pot. What else we're wanting? Ah, glue. Helps if we've got glue, doesn't it? Um, got some glue out. Oh dear, it's warm. It's lovely. So I think we'll do this one first. Have a look what it looks like. I thought this might have sweated a bit with it being so warm. I've noticed a couple of the clays I've been getting. It's it's quite hard. As though it's been open. I mean, obviously it's not, but. When you use it quite a lot, you get to know how it should feel as soon as you open it. And this is as though it's been opened today. So I don't know if they're changing something or is it if it's just because it's purely so hot everywhere.
then squish it all down into the detail. Now let's have a look. being as organised as ever. I won't clear the end of my glue. Breaking bits off left, right, and centre here. Let's pop in there. We'll have that there. Well, I don't know where this is from. From there. We'll pop in back there then. So, that's the first one. to apologise about the sound quality as well a few people have said that they've not been able to hear me I bought a phone well I bought a new phone should I say and uh, and I bought it with a huge memory because this is like an old tablet that I use for filming so it doesn't hold you know you can only kind of do one video and then you've got to upload it delete it if you've got two or three things on it on the go it doesn't like it and I figure that's why I kept losing some of my footage so I thought well I'm about to do an upgrade on my phone anyway so I got one with a bigger memory so I thought I can just film on there and everything else and I'm not kidding uh, it, it's crap I mean it's handy obviously because you've got it with you but to edit and everything I mean I've not got a laptop so I have to I've had to buy it uh, buy an editing thing for the phone and then I've got one obviously for the tablet and the last video that I put up that was 40 minutes long I bet it took a full 24 hours mm -hmm. just for it to upload it on the phone where on the tablet I know the tablets old but it takes like an hour tops sort of thing and I've done it a couple of times I've lowered settings and everything because obviously the, the first one I uploaded was on like super high def and this that, and the other which I didn't realize so I had to lower all that down slightly so I did that and then I lowered the like I say the last 40 minute one to really low thinking oh it'll upload really quickly and it, I bet it took a full 24 hours. So, and plus people were saying that they couldn't hear me. And yet I'd got the volume on as high as what I've got this one on. So I'm back to my old little tablet. So getting better isn't normally, isn't necessarily a good thing. I mean, obviously it's something that I'm doing, but... I don't know what I'm doing so I'd only just fathomed this one out so then to go and pay and download that other one and then trying to get used to it we, it was really good actually you know it's it was a good editing 
nothing for like as much as I edit. I don't do a great deal. I speed you up a bit and block the sound out and that's about it. But I couldn't believe how long it took to upload it. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if anybody knows if there's some sort of setting or whatever, then you'll have to let me know. Because I fucked out for a higher memory foam and it's driving me mad you know like a quick short video that just shows you when I forgot to film so I'll just show you what I've done and even that can take a couple of hours so I'm back to this one it might be old but it works as long as I haven't got too many things get, trying to be going in one go so Stick with this one for a little bit, I think. Either that, or it's probably because it's all been done on my phone, I don't know. Instead of, you know, uploading it to a tablet or whatever, uh, a laptop or computer. Uh, I'm sure there's not just me out there that's only got, you know, older things. So anyway, hopefully you'll all be able to hear me again properly. the leaf design on it. Oh my nose is really itchy today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got a little blackbird that's decided to friend us. I always feed the birds. But this one, 
It hits his own. She's a tame bird. It's ever so funny. And we knew she'd been feeding something or other because she could hear it every time she went back into the bush. And then when it come out, well, it, it looks like a starling. He don't look like a baby at all. He's bigger than her. But she was definitely feeding him. So I'm not sure if that's what a blackbird looks like when they're a baby or what. But yesterday we were sat outside and he come out of the bush and come running over to us and then realised what he was doing and stopped dead and ran back. So we put him some food out and um, he did it again today. So <laughs> it's like we've got two little tame birds. He comes out to us now tweeting away. If he is a he that is of course. He may be a she. And none of them are faced by the dog because they know that the dog like barely moves. So they know that they could quite easily just stroll off before she got anywhere near them. I looked to the other day, I'm not kidding, anyone thinks she were like a little old woman. She looked at me as if to say, well, you know, you can always carry me if you want me to move quicker. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with this clay. I'm not liking it at all. It's like I've had it open for a few days. It's not like it's a new pack at all. Look, it like, it cracks and wants to split. I mean, it's demolding fine, but it's just got a different feel to it. I like that. I don't know how much more to do. I don't want it to be too over the top this time. I might add a um shall I add one more? I'll add one more and then another leaf I think. And then it'll be the same on the other side so you don't need to watch that do you? Yeah, and then I think we'll finish off with one of these like leaves up here, just to end that a little bit. What do we think? Do we like it? It's very different, and it's called Wilderness Rose. And like I say, I just get all mine off of Etsy. I put in Etsy UK and get them off the ones. But I have noticed actually that um, you can get them on eBay as well. Same price. Because I'm looking at some of the. Hi. I'd like to get. Yeah. Oh, I can't even remember what I'm trying to say. Oh, the transfers. But I keep thinking, well, I can't demand much money for my stuff here. And they're 30 odd without postage. So I'm thinking, will somebody? I mean, I know I would because they look absolutely stunning on some, but would anybody else? So I may, I may order one. 
one that I can split up quite a lot so that you know you haven't got to try and cover all that money back in one go as such. Right, I think that's enough. So I'll do the other one and then we'll come back and I'll have a look what we're going to do for the drawer. Okay, see you shortly. Right then, welcome back. Just to show you that I've done both sides now. And I like to do them opposite so that they're not together. Because this is like the that side and then that one will be on that side sort of thing. But this is them. I'm really chuffed with the mould actually. I thought, have I got too many? But none. Not one mould is like even similar with the flower. So yeah, I'm really quite chuffed with that and I've just mimicked it on the other side. And then for the drawers, it's a long drawer. So I've just popped on the three. I think that'll be enough. I don't know, I might add a, a few more leaves on. But we'll have to leave it to dry now, so I'll probably be back tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye. Right then, welcome back. It's the next day. <laughs> um, I've just turned the cupboards over so I can paint the backs before I put them back on. And I've just painted inside again. So we're just going to paint the rest of it. I know it's a bit boring, but you know, some people say that they like to see everything. So here we go. saying it's the hottest day today we're up to about 30 degrees so it's warm oh and i just thought i'd mention i've been and had i'd run out of this colour yesterday which i knew i wouldn't have enough of so that's but you know why it's white so i went to bean q yesterday and got some of the I'm trying the Valspar furniture paint and this is supposed to be primed undercoats and finishes all in one tough and durable protection touch dry in an hour and it's a dead flat finish and I've had it in bridal veil which is a really pretty white and it says you only have to leave it a week for it to harden so apply with a brush or a roller so I thought we'd give it a go I do like Valspar paint I use it in the house but I've never tried the furniture paint and the fella said to me he says why not try give that one a go so I have done it's very nice and fluidy I've got to admit that I think that's why I don't like chalk paint I don't like how thick it is and hard to go on but oh, we've even got a resident spider here today so if you hold your brush look it all just flows out as such yeah we'll give it a go and see what we think I can't really quite comment on coverage because it's going on top of white but I don't think it will it might need a slight touch up, but nothing major.
not get enough paint on you yesterday. The lovely Alison commented on you like to just strut in and, you know, show who's boss. She did. Yes. You like to make an appearance, don't you? Yes. Don't worry about me having to move about and you just stay where you are. Yes. still see yeah that's all you can see though isn't it <laughs> but anyway, you can't lean yourself up against wet paint can you no. I know you like to think you can but you can't Bit warm, um, but where you want your copper? Uh, yeah, just up on top, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moving again, I'm gonna. You're moving again, yeah. Right. I don't think I can put you anywhere to see on the top. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to paint the top and then we'll be back. Right then, I'm just going to reattach the drawers, uh, drawers, the doors, should we say. Um, no, you're back here, Elena. Mm -hmm. Come back. 
I did make sure that I labelled and put them together the the hinges just in case you know they've worn differently because it's not a new item. So I did make sure this time that I did that. So that hopefully, even though I've taken it off, it should all just go back straight into place. But we'll see in a minute, won't we? So a quick look. Oh dear. Right, so what have I done? It's got to go up. Right, just a second then. Uh, oh, I hate doing things like this. I can never remember which way is which. And I've not even touched these, so I don't know why these are playing off. Bit pulled in, then, hasn't it? need to pick to do this on camera today when it doesn't want to work. Um, I don't know, let's put the other one. See, I thought, ah, I'll film this bit. Because I've remembered to label, I'll have no problems. Bring it back on. And instantly.
this side. So, it's got to be a little bit more off again. What do we think that is then? So what's different do we think to this one? Um,
We're leaving that for a minute because I've had enough. <laughs> I'll get the hubby out to have a look at that, I think. Yeah, look, that's took me that long. The paint's got like a skin over it now. using quite a runny paint like this do keep coming back to check because you will have runs because you have to put a fair amount on to get it all into the little nuts and crannies so just keep checking for it for the runs of it sad about them. Sorry, just let me move you a sec. No, oh, no. Who knows? Can you still see?
like I say, don't forget to keep coming back and checking your runs. Right. I'm going to drink my cup of coffee now that's probably gone cold through the stress of the door. I'll get him to have it, I think. <laughs> right then. Oh. Right, when it's dry, we'll come back and put the handles on. Okay? See you in a minute. Right then. I got hubby out to have a look at the gap for me, and I think that looks a lot better, doesn't it? So, that's that done. And they're the handles that I picked. Well, I've got a choice of two, and he picked those ones, so we're going with those ones today. And this paint really is good. It's extremely flat. There's not an ounce of shine to it at all. So, oh, hang on, because you're on the tripod. what do we think do we like it and like i say what did i say this was called um wilderness rose by prima and i think it's absolutely beautiful all right guys so oh sorry so i hope you liked this video if you did please like subscribe and comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care. Bye.